10 years ago, there was a recognition by the United States Navy that we had uh, a strike fighter gap uh, associated with all of the airframes in the U.S. Navy inventory. In order to uh, bridge that gap, uh, the recognition was that we needed to uh, assess the airframe and figure out ways that we could extend the lifetime of that airframe. Hey, my name is Brian Frank. Uh, I am the chief engineer here at uh, FRC Southwest, and I'd like to spend a couple minutes talking to you about the F-18 High Flight Hour program. In discussing this program, it's important to remember the context of how this program was born. Uh, it was born about 10 years ago, and it's important to remember what was going on 10 years ago. This country was in the middle of uh, a war. Uh, we were using these F-18 aircraft uh, extensively uh, throughout the theater of operations, and we were flying them very hard. And as a consequence of that, we were putting time on the airframe. That was the genesis of the SLAP, the Service Life Assessment Program, where we took a look at a number of aircraft and figure out what areas in the airframe that we need to address. Uh, that started, uh, roughly speaking, in about 2002. Uh, the first areas that we were addressed were what we call ground events, uh, essentially catapult launches and uh, uh, carrier landings, and as well as the wing route fatigue associated with the airframe itself. Uh, in that regard, we already had a program called the Center Barrel Plus program that addressed the, uh, the airframe issue, but uh, addressing the ground loads associated with carrier uh, launches and carrier landings, uh, we developed some programs to change out some critical components necessary to uh, extend the life of the airframe. In addition to that, we recognized that there were parts of the airframe that we never looked at uh, associated with the old MCAP, Maintenance, Corrosion, and Paint program, and then the subsequent integrated maintenance concept program that we have here at FRC Southwest. So to address those, we invented essentially just eight bulletins. It sounds pretty um, not complex. However, uh, there's 140 areas associated with these bulletins in the current revision A of, of the specification. And uh, it's what we look at and what we do with what we find that is the genesis of this high flat hour program. The goal of the program is to take any airframe uh, associated with legacy Hornets, that's A through D type model series, uh, approaching 8,000 and extend their lifetime by 1,000 hours. And then again, look at them and evaluate the, uh, the airframe and then extend it another 1,000 th hours until we get to 10,000 flight hours. We have several roadblocks and there's no surprises in any one of them. First of all, we're talking about extensive engineering analysis required to bring these aircraft beyond 8,000 to 10,000. Uh, so the time that required to do that analysis is long. And uh, secondly, I would say, um, I'd also mention the unknown of unknowns that we find uh, will necessitate some material replacement and contracting for material can take time to bring it on board. So I like to think of savings in two terms. Um, so far, we have accomplished 129 separate uh, high flight hour events. And these are aircraft that absolutely would have been at the end of their service life, which was 6,000 hours, that we were able to extend beyond that. And you'll recall I talked about the strike fighter gap. These 129 aircraft that we now have in the inventory that we wouldn't be for. So in terms of savings, I think that's pretty spectacular. Uh, another option would have been to buy more Super Hornets, the E, F, and G model of the aircraft. Um, those flyaway costs of a, of a Super Hornet is $55 million, and we accomplish the high flight hour program and the subsequent life extension for under $2 million. I hope that I and this video have given you a greater appreciation for the high flight hour program here at FRC Southwest. The dedication of our artisans, engineers, and logisticians have enabled us to return aircraft back to the fleet at a critical time. Thank you for watching.